hello collective welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for your likes your comments your shares and subscribes i truly appreciate them all thank you guys so much for all of your generous donations i greatly appreciate them all let's head in so we get a message for you guys this is for all signs please keep in mind it's general so the messages may or may not resonate with you <clears throat> Take the messages that resonate with you in your personal situations and leave the rest. Okay. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, what is the message for the collective? Overall energy, please, for the collective. We need to know what we need to be aware of. Okay, so you could be going through a transformation. <clears throat> I heard your shift is going beautifully. Um, you could be transitioning or just transforming into a new energy or something like that. But we got a shock and surprise here. Somebody could be shocked or surprised. They're losing everything because of this shift. Hierophant, okay. This got something to do with the occult, okay. Uh, I'm also hearing tradition. Rules, regulations, authority, figure, something to do with spirituality, okay, as well. Um, Somebody could have a lot of bad luck here. They're surprised, like, how did I, like, it's like one of those people, somebody is wondering why are they getting bad luck right now at this time or something. They're shocked that they're on the other side of the wheel wow I just heard everything was given to them and nothing was earned so that's why they're on the other side of the wheel it's because everything was given to them and nothing was earned what's the higher thing we got the main female. Yeah, we got adjudication and high honor. Okay. It's changing. Okay. So whoever this main female energy is, her high honor is changing. Something could be changing with when it comes to great fortune here. Because it maybe it was given by a mature male. Huh. Yeah, so this got something to do with a family situation. Um... Somebody could be getting something taken from them because it was given to them. This high honor was given to them from a grandfather or something. Her father's father, okay? That's what I'm hearing, father's father. They were expecting something to happen in this family room, in the community, getting a message of bad health. So in their community, there's a message of debt or something like that as well <clears throat> Let's see. Hmm. My spirit the mind spirit what is that hidden secrets I just saw so there's some secrets here wow yeah, this about some past uh, soulmate collect connection here. There could have been a lot of lies when it came to somebody's ancestral lineage with that tree. <clears throat> a family full of thieves. So somebody's family could have been like the type of people that took things from other people. Maybe that's why they were held in high honor. And this person, passed down loved one, may have thought that her family earned something and they didn't. They were thieves. Okay. And maybe she became a thief too. But yeah, let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit. What is this? Yeah, we got a significant relationship here. Soul contract in the reverse. So somebody doesn't have the keys. They're not chosen or something like that. We got to have this type of, to be in this house. Somebody's not getting the keys to the house. We got keys in the reverse and house. 
somebody doesn't have keys to some sort of resources. It's not in her. Wow. And if you look at this book, it's like she's trying to tear a page out of somebody's book. But trying to see who's looking at her do it. If that makes sense. Do you see me tearing this page out of this book? That's the face she's looking like to me. But Sweet Escape. Maybe they had gotten away with this at one point. But no. Not this lifetime. They can't do that. <clears throat> Whoever this is. Excuse me. It's in my throat, y'all. All right, what else? Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit. Hmm. Mice, oh my God. So these people are, whoever this is, is very, ang having a lot of anxiety now. They stress in here. They feel like their actions is catching up to them. Wow. This news, okay, is traveling fast. And it's bringing anxiety to somebody. All right, let's see what else. Wow. Coffin. Painful ending. Trouble connection. Trouble relationship. Tower. Somebody cannot believe this shit. Like, what? How? That kind of energy. Somebody is flipping their lids. Okay? Wow. Somebody is having a tower moment. That something actually is over. Of these lies. So somebody could be shocked that somebody lied to them like this. Or something was a freaking lie. Okay. That something would improve by the moon cycle or something. Okay. But the choice that somebody made here. To not do something right here. We got. They're not an authority figure here. They can't do something when it comes to keeping tabs on somebody's dreams or something like that. So something could be transforming here due to somebody's actions here or they, they do understand here that someone's fresh or they did understand that somebody was supposed to have a fresh start and they was going to have victory, success, and luck and love on their side. And somebody didn't care. They didn't care to hear that shit. Okay? Their strong desire was to cause somebody heavy burdens or hardships in their life and obstacles. Yeah. And this is when they did this when you were most vulnerable, a.k.a. you didn't even know who you was at the time before this bitch started uh, take, teeing off. This could be somebody in your family. Before they even started teeing off on you, doing mean stuff to you, collective, you didn't even know who you was. So this is like, this wasn't even a fair advantage. It's like, I'll take that, please. So if somebody took something from you that you was related to, um, this could be coming back to you energetically, okay, right now as we speak. Because somebody know they was dead wrong, okay? They know they was dead wrong. All right. It's reincarnation. I just seen it twice. So something about something belong to you. And they was dead wrong to try to sacrifice you or take it from you, take your kindness or weakness. Something. Okay. Yeah. Aggressively tracking you when they knew damn well you were independent and free. It's like this person overstepped their boundaries, like to the max. So yeah, look at this. Wow, wow. Somebody had an unexpected ending. Okay, her last day in the light because they kept stalking you, prying in, in your energy, your business, and trying to psychic attack you, trying to cause you to have nightmares. They kept doing this in your dream state or something like that. That's why they're spending their last day in the light. So Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Okay. Whoever this clown lady is. This is a shocking ending out of nowhere. It's like, what? Yep. How am I an outsider now? This person is an outsider now. 
because of this energy, anti-hero. They can't even get in. Somebody broke a rule when it came to trying to manipulate you, allure you, desire, seduce you, all right, tempt you in some way, shape, or form. Somebody was supposed to have more discipline because they were a religious leader at some time or they were, they knew the rules, they knew the commandments, they knew something. They knew better, basically, than to do this type of ritual here due to their insecurities or her insubordination. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody really getting their rights read to them from the higher ups. Okay. Yeah. And they got stripped of all their gifts. So if this person had any type of gifts, it's gone. Okay. Because they wanted to see you suffer so bad. They lost everything. Okay. You may have noticed... You could notice a change in y'all energy field as well. Because this was the person it's that maybe things are changing for the better for you guys. Um, Because she can't do what she was doing anymore. Yeah, they don't have... It's like I'm hearing... um, Not that... It, something wasn't affecting you how they want. That's why they kept doing something. But it was more so... You having to stop, look, and like fight. Like it's like fighting your way to the top when you were already. I don't know. It's it's giving like you had to keep fighting for something, and it was already yours. <clears throat> but this person was constantly battling you. Is what I'm hearing. But you're still you're shielded from this person watching you, stalking you, um, bad dreams, psychic attacks, anything this person was trying to do, you're shielded from. Okay. Something is over. And they she could even be afraid that her um Yeah, that you uh that something gonna happen to her or something. Maybe somebody did pass away. I don't know, but Show gratitude. So thank your ancestors here. They let you know. You know, you fully in your life purpose here is the reason why this is happening. All right. Somebody may be shocked about this information. Information may leave somebody shook. That you are, you made it. You're liberated. You're free. If there was any clogs or plugs or stoppages or blockages, it's been removed. Okay. Yeah. There's a reason for you to celebrate now. Somebody could be shocked that you actually made it to this point or something. Yeah, but it was meant to be. Somebody kept doing something to y'all that it was that it wasn't that was supposed to have you in your feelings here. Somebody gonna be all in their feelings by by Thanksgiving when they see you level up. <clears throat> no, you actually grew from a situation. You actually grew. So whatever somebody's plans was for you collective, you actually beat them at their own game kind of energy, like you actually made it to something, and they are pissed the fuck off. If they was getting any kind of money off of your energy, it's coming to a complete end. They could got fired. They could have paid somebody a lot of money to get you fired or something, but that's coming to an end. The altercation could be breaking out with this person. Somebody could be really losing their spadoodles at this time. Mentally, somebody could be going through it. Huh. Somebody definitely going through something right now, y'all. Let me see. I'm just going to get some of these before I pull these. So, shook. The information might leave somebody shook. Why? Yeah. Walk away. So, somebody's walking away. And they mad. Distorted, masculine, ex lover, sharp tongue. Mad that you keep shining. So it could be a masculine here. I don't know who this main female here is. This could be y'all. But the main female could be somebody that they was dealing with. Somebody could be shocked to find out that somebody could have walked away from a distorted masculine. The information might leave some, somebody shook. What's this? Fourth house came in the reverse. Ninth house. Spiritual hater. 
hates on your beliefs, not liking. Remember, we've seen religion, so tradition, something got to have to do with it. But walking away here, fourth house, roots, heritage, they got to walk away because they're not a part of your roots or your st nothing. If somebody is not a part of something because it came out inverted, ninth house, be due to their religious belief systems. They can't be a part of you if they don't believe in you. Sh uh, shook, one more for the shook. Eighth house. So, yeah, this comes death and rebirth, okay? Somebody's attitude towards change when it came to your skills, your talent, your training, and your employment. Damn. It's your earth angel. So, they don't have no other fucking choice. Somebody don't have no choice. They don't like the fact that you're an earth angel. They don't believe in something. Okay, well, believe in this, God said. Since you don't believe in that, how about I'm going to show you better than I can tell you. See, God ain't going to keep talking. He done talking. He done talking to these people. I'm going to just show you because you don't get it yet. All right. Life purpose. Your life purpose has a lot to do with you being in this energy. Uh, being happy, comfortable, fulfilled. Just being a blessing to others. Somebody was trying to stop you from doing that. Somebody wanted to keep their foot on your neck is what I'm hearing. They salty as fuck right now. Because about your life purpose. Like, are you really an earth angel? Your life purpose is really the oracle card reader? Really? You're reading tarot? That's your life purpose? Like, really? Tenth house. Somebody's ranking here. All right. It says the situation involves someone's ambition, their motives, their ranking. All right, in society, accolades, and social class, life purpose. Somebody can see that maybe you smoke. They are unimpressed now. They feel like they're unimpressed about your employment. All right, they feel like you're low vibrational because you curse, so they feel like you're fake. But now they're on regret because God is showing them like, no, <laughs> they 100% real. Yeah, they curse. Yeah, they might smoke some weed every once in a while. Yeah, they... Yeah, but that's all a part of their life purpose. They can do that. They good. You worried about the wrong shit energy. So it's like God is basically saying to these people or whoever this is that they don't care what you impressed by. Your, your opinion doesn't matter. And I'm about to show you or they are showing this person how much that they are a non-factor when it comes to raising the vibration of the world. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like get, get, get hip or get gone kind of energy. Life purpose. But they feel like your accolades, because of your accolades, you why did why are you smoking or something? Like what? Life purpose. <laughs> I'm sorry, like what the fuck is wrong with people? Life purpose. They be worried about the wrong shit. Life freaking purpose here. We got fake friends wanted to be more than friends here. These could be people that's always partying here. And they could have been trying to get information from your ex-lover that's a eat that's a, a hater. Fuck. Child. So somebody ex-lover could have told them that you you was a gold digger, you was in doing a witchcraft, and somebody realized that it was one sided with this person. Your ex-lover is a hater, and they got receipts that you actually love yourself. So this could have been an ex-lover that was talking smack about you or something, y'all. Being in your life purpose. Child. That's because they fake. You know? These people, they'll be the ones out here fucking and sucking each other on a Saturday and then act all holy and on a Sunday as yes, energy. Like, they're fake. Okay? They, they, like, when you're really spiritual, you're really, you're not ashamed of anything that you do. These are the kind of people that are ashamed. They would never want their pastor to know. Or they would never want a uh, sister so-and-so to see them out here taking a sip of that wine. Like, ass, but this bitch drunk all the time. Like, but think that, you know, since they know the Bible back and forth, which every demon does. <laughs> like, you, they some fucking body. This is the energy that this person I'm feeling. Whoever these people are, that's the energy I'm feeling. All right. That's crazy. Life purpose, y'all. So somebody want to be a friend, but they fake. Somebody could have been trying to be a fake friend to somebody because of your accolades and your life purpose and shit. Because, but they really wanted to be more or something. 
So somebody could start lying on y'all. What's the light purpose? Fifth house. Yeah. Okay. So you don't. Somebody's weird. So in your leisure time, you do not divination spy on people. <laughs> this person is weird. Okay. Absolutely. This person is a weird hater that want to knock you down the size. Nobody has no evidence of this person. They, she could be saying that or he's saying that you copy and they style. This person try, wants to control somebody's divine union so that they can munch off of the energy. All right. 12th house enemy. Truth was revealed how this person has been in your energy. So if she started doing things like you, it's because this bitch been watching everything that you do. She's been stalking you, uh, getting information from people that knew you to pretend to be like you. So she can be like, damn, why she copying me? That energy. Who the fuck is this clown? So somebody could be finding all of this out about this person, that this person does not have any access to God, might have even put her on front street. Like, ma'am, I don't know you. <laughs> like, what? Like where in, in your in your life? Where do I where I, where am I at in your life? Point it out, cause I can't tell nowhere at all. And I'm not talking about finances, spiritually. Point me out. What am I doing for you? What are you doing for the collective? Like really, that energy. So somebody could have been looking at somebody through a spiritual glass, magn magnifying glass, and this is how somebody could be finding this out. And now the person is having a lot of anxiety. Okay. What's this? Gratitude. This is somebody that don't even show y'all her ancestors gratitude. They don't show God gratitude at all. Okay. This person does none of that. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, all this person do is talk shit about what somebody else does in their relationships or marriages because they wanted to be friends with this person. They wanted to be more than friends to somebody here due to their business accolades or due to their status or due to something. And this person has a filthy mouth and they're low vibrational. So, no. Okay. Also, you got to be more than friends to get these type of accolades. You can't just be, oh, I know God a little bit. Like, no. Like, you really got to have a real relationship um, with the divine here. And somebody could be pissed off because somebody is finding out that this person harbors resentment. This person harbors anger. Anybody that that kind of energy, it's impossible for you to have a relationship with God because that would get in the way. Okay. And now they're intimidated and crying now <laughs> because people are looking at this person that they could have connected themselves to this person as a clout chaser with money problems. And you too grown to be even doing anything that this bitch was talking about. Talking about something, somebody betrayed you or they betrayed you, betrayed her or some weird shit. Some sweetheart is just upset because you're very confident, gorgeous, and you know what you're here to do because you're fully in your life purpose. And they started acting a fool, spreading lies to their best friend. Now they feel trapped because somebody caught them stalking someone. Okay. What is this? Growth. You actually grew from this situation. What is this? This came out too. Wow. So it actually grew from the situation. Somebody could have been doing a lot of witchcraft here and it fell on top of that your eighth house. Okay. Your eighth house and your fourth house. Somebody wanted you to walk away from your roots so that they can have some something that you had or something. This is a very weird twisted individual here that's a gold digger. And everything is one-sided now. When it comes to this situation, it's the distorted masculine is in regret. They thought they was on, on you mean, off the grid here. The slacker met they match. You actually grew from this crazy person doing this witchcraft on y'all. Let's grow. Generous. So this person is very intimidated by how generous people are to you. <sighs> somebody feel like they're, some, they're um, somebody also could be intimidated here because somebody you could, they could see you as being generous. Somebody is intimidated because somebody is crying over you. I don't know who this other person is. I'm feeling but they could be, it could be an ex that's crying over y'all. What's growth? One more. Ex. 
I said it could be an ex crying over you, ex lover came out, spiritual Ada. Hating on your spiritual beliefs, not liking that you are untraditional, uncomfortable with your spirituality. And that's fine. Ex lover. That's their choice. It's free will, right? Yeah. Look, divination spying in the reverse. No money, no talk. Somebody knows, um, maybe this person can be doing something because somebody's not giving to them. And it's like, okay. It's crazy how, look, in their feelings. Somebody's doing something in their feelings, y'all. We got thief, robbery, loss, theft. Somebody could have been trying to rob somebody. What the hell, happiness hater. Holy Spirit, divine spirit. Movie night, movie date. Somebody could have asked somebody out on a date here and they was going to try to take something from them. Or this is a physical thief of emotions that's all in their head. Whoever this person is, they all in their head. In their feelings. Because somebody could have robbed them as well. Physically or emotionally. They feel like they lost something. Hustling. Making it rain in the reverse. So they made a bad deal when it came to hustling with somebody. <laughs> I'm sorry. We got know they fucked up. They know they fucked up because they realized somebody was an imposter. Wow. Imposter in the police. What happened? Oh, somebody was an undercover cop? <gasps> no. Somebody got them, y'all. Somebody got them. Somebody got somebody. Because somebody was an undercover cop. What the fuck? Did somebody pay somebody to rob somebody or something too? And they was expecting a windfall, but somebody was an undercover cop, impersonator. Oh, my, my, my. Okay. What happened? Where did they find this nigga on Craigslist? Oh, shit. Oh, running away. So somebody trying to run away now. All right. We got pregnancy here and trash. Throwing it away, getting rid of it. <gasps> Somebody got an abortion? What the fuck happened? No. They is tired of the drama. Okay, somebody could be on the run. This is done got juicy. Somebody that, that could be on the run here. All right. Okay. Okay. Somebody could have, okay, this is another thing I'm getting. Somebody know they fucked up because somebody knows that somebody pretended to be you and called the cops on them or something like that. Y'all, something like that could have happened. This ain't going to resonate with her. Not that part. Called the cops on them and they tried to throw the evidence away, but they found it. This is their worst nightmare. <sighs> Somebody tired of the drama here? This person could be going through sleep paralysis. Somebody could be stalking them, threatening them about this love story. Once upon a time, somebody was threatening. What? Love story. Once upon a time, somebody was threatening someone, stalking them, bothering them. And they was tired of the drama. They was losing sleep because somebody could have been on the run because they found something in the trash. The cops found something here in the trash here when it came to a pregnancy test or hmm, somebody could have cheated. Okay. In this situation. What else happened here? Oh man, somebody's extremely and somebody got extremely triggered. Start looking somebody up online. 
And somebody says they hate nothing about you. They want you to be happy. So somebody could have did something here. Somebody might have asked somebody to get an abortion, just whatever. Okay, I don't know how deep this going to go, y'all. Um, Because they somebody was trying to impersonate you or whatever. Somebody could have called the cops here because they found out something here. It got something to do with the trash here and a pregnancy test. Somebody got extremely triggered and looked you up online. And somebody is finding out somebody hates nothing about you. And this person is a happiness hater or somebody was a happiness hater in this situation okay so what somebody could be upset that you're not a broke ass Somebody could be depressed. They went creeping and found out that you were wealthy or that you were doing well or something. <clears throat> and they want to come back to you. Third, third triangle, third wheel in the reverse. But there you don't do third parties or something like that. And they don't want a private relationship with you. All right, but they feel like they can't set the record straight because somebody is cock blocking. All right, somebody that's an obsessive lover here. Yeah, somebody has got a crush on you and they don't want to move on. Somebody like you a lot and they don't want to move on. But they feel like you're going to be uninterested in them, all right? Or you're uninterested in them, collective. It's because of this drama that this person put them through here. And we got fishing for comments here. Somebody could be going through your comments to see if you mentioned somebody. Like, this person went crazy, y'all. We got catching the case in the reverse and too busy winning. So somebody could have said somebody uh, to catch a case, a.k.a. some STD or something like that. You ain't worried about that. You too busy winning. You doing real good. I don't know what the hell that had to do with anything. But you too busy winning. You're good. So, yeah. And we got recording here. Announcement. But somebody was trying to keep that a secret. That you too busy winning to have an STD or to be out here just fucking around or something like that. Or that you, you're clear, you're clean or something. I don't What else? Okay, so a fake friend here. Fake friend could have been involved here that could have been lying on y'all or something like that. Saying y'all had the heebie-jeebies or something. Ah, it says they they said that when they was um when they when okay I'm sorry y'all I gotta get the words out I hear the words and it's like they're trying to come out my mouth but when the fake friend was saying mad shit about you having being you know having some sort of STD and all this cool shit but somebody found out that it was a lie but when they showed the proof that yeah I heard such and such and such and such. And they ain't have shit to say about it. So somebody like, I thought you said such and such, like asking this person questions or something. And they ain't got shit to say no more. Wow. I can't make it up. When people bring it up, they don't talk about it. They, they don't, you know, because somebody know it ain't true. So does somebody know you too busy winning to have some sort of STD? And this person... Ain't want to say nothing about it. Like, no more. They just wanted people to be not like you or something. They wanted the people to think you was a broke ass. Somebody finding out you're not a broke ass. Like, you're you're doing very good. 
somebody wants the relationship to be public. They don't want a private relationship with you. They don't want a third party with you. They want just you. And it's somebody in the mix that's upset because they're being ignored. Yeah, I cannot. Now somebody curious about you, like, all right, yeah, and yeah, I'm keeping a promise. Hello. So somebody can be curious about you now, like, I got, I'm gonna keep this promise that I had to so and so, or whatever this is. Somebody could have dodged a bullet, blocking negative energy, escaping crazy people. You, that's what you did. Yeah. So they can't clout chase or none of that. You ain't get caught up with nothing, like. We got romantic love affair, sex fix, secret lover, fuck buddy. Okay. It's not a player. So somebody don't want to be a player no more. This could have been, you know, somebody you had relations with or something. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's going on here. And they don't want to be private. They want to be public. They want to post pictures on vacation and boo love and kissing. And somebody really love your kisses. Something about your kissing and hugging and touch. Like you get very good loving or something. <laughs> Yo, I didn't even peep. Look, we got kicked to the curb. Yeah, they kicking somebody to the curb here. They was riding the wave. They was waiting until... Uh, Bow, chicka, wow, wow. Maybe y'all got a room with somebody. Okay. Maybe somebody could have just rolled a wave. We got to get in a room. All right. Hotel, motel, holiday, yeah. No. Um, business or pleasure. I don't know what the fuck happened in here, but they ready to kick somebody to the curb. They could be ignoring this person. Cyberbullying in the reverse. So if somebody was cyberbullying you, they stopping doing that shit here. Okay. What else? You got girl fight and caution. So now somebody that got kicked to the curb need to proceed with caution here. They want to fight you. They holding a grudge and they on. They mad. This is crazy. This is also giving somebody realizing, wow, look at you collective. You love by many here, admired, okay? Idolize, you're a good person, as you should be. I mean, come on. Hello. This is you, born to shine and idol. So, somebody like, man, like, so if they were in a relationship with somebody, whoever this is, we're going to get initials and all that. But if this person was in a relationship with somebody, they don't want to be with this person. This person, they found out this person was cyberbullying you. This person was. All on your top. And you was minding your business. This person could have even called the... Was the reason why somebody was on the run. They could have called the cops on them. Because they didn't want this person to be happy with you. They could have wanted to be with this person. So, I don't know how deep this go for y'all. Maybe your person had got locked up. Or was locked up. Or they got robbed by the, this bitch. Kind of energy. Whoever this is put them in a bit of a... I uh, mean, a horrible position at whatever point. This was, and y'all knowing each other or being with each other or something, y'all. This person wants to keep a promise with you. Okay? They want to, they just, they had to ride the wave here until they found out all information. And now we got girl fight argument here at war, competing. This girl would compete, this chick was competing with you on the low trying to take something here but they not the key it's like when it was time to walk to the door to open all that shit she was talking about her ancestors and her what she had and who she was connected to come to find out the bitch wasn't connected to nothing all that shit was yours because when they went to uh put the palm up on the door so that you know all your fingerprints show up i don't know this is i don't know this is what i'm saying like you know how or that uh put your eye up against the thing and it it, it, it scan your retina ass energy and it open everything open sesame no the bitch is not the key it got instantly denied blocked and then some other shit happened like why are you here? You're an outsider. You don't belong in this castle. You do not belong in our energy. Who the fuck sent you? And she, oh, look, I got, but no, what paperwork the fuck is that? We didn't sign that split off on this. We don't even know you. Okay? Like that energy. 
Like get this get this this peasant off of our premises. Like who the fuck who sent this bitch? Who is this? Pretending to be so and so. Then they say, no, I thought she said she was so and so. She was such and such and such and such. That energy is what I'm getting. They're like, man, we don't know this bitch. This ain't so and so. <laughs> we don't know her. So and so right now is chilling in the house with her feet up on a chair. Like, we don't know this, but who is this? Guards ass energy. <laughs> Guards energy, y'all, for real. And they made this man like <gasps> what? They all in the head and they feelings. Yeah, this lie, this whole song and dance is over. Pisces, Capricorn. <laughs> and like, nah, man, I'm good. Look, I feel so bad for what I've done now. The silence is too much. I'm about to text you. Somebody only wanted money. All evil eyes is going blind. We got Scorpio narcissists. They are not of the light. I asked my friend to watch you. He fell in love with you. He is being mad at a water sign cancer. God put a sacred circle of light around you here in your soul contract so that can't nobody touch it. So you dodged a major bullet here, y'all. Major bullets. Okay? When it came to this situation. <clears throat> we got S. My game's backfiring. Somebody want to be you. They envy you. And they about to get their ass tossed up. They about to learn a hard lesson for even trying to play with you. Okay? Monday. Aquarius. Bro. Emperor. Aries. A karmic woman. So an Aries could be a karmic woman here or something like that. Or they was connected to a karmic woman. Take it as it resonates. High priestess wanted to stay focused and finish the job, but they couldn't because you're protected. They can't attack you. They can't steal any of your energy. They can't cloak her with no more of your energy. This is like, it, will the real Slim Shady please stand up as energy, y'all? V. <laughs> will the real Empress please stand up? That energy. They gonna get karma for all this shit. Somebody have unfinished business in love with an air sign, but due to somebody's religious belief systems, they was trying to stop that. Ugh. Yep. We got Pisces. They created a mess and was hoping somebody can help them fix it. Somebody got a BMW, Nissan, Kia, or Audi. The karmic was in the way. VIP. The karmic was in the way of VIP, bro. Of a very important person, man. You. This is like protected by vipers. Stand back ass energy. Somebody was in the way of VIP of a very important person that is protected. Like, what in the world? That's the that's the life choice you made, bro, and or sis? That's what you chose to do this lifetime. Sad. We got a karmic male that you don't know that could have been involved here. We got N. We got this person want to return. Somebody got dreads or braids. Somebody got to make it up to you this lifetime. Something about a pen, okay? Something about a vape pen as well could be significant. So maybe that's why somebody, oh, you can't be real till you smoke them with vape pens. Oh, <laughs> that kind of energy. Like, what? <laughs> A Sagittarius, we got F. Black man or a woman, them hexes and curses is backfiring on them. Somebody got dreads or braids. You was the one they about to lose you for good. I, J, K, and L. A X. I heard Linux. We got a neighbor. That sees you on your right path here to achieve your goals. We got Z. True love. We got your child. I got to make it up to you this lifetime. 
the feds is watching somebody, they are salty as fuck because you're not on the DL or somebody knows somebody's not on the DL. I'm so glad I found you. I never wanted this to end. Your mother? Okay. I don't know how. That's correlating BD energy. Okay. I don't even feel comfortable with saying your mother and big dick energy in the same category. Wait a minute. Bring your spender. Not hell no. <laughs> uh-uh. Bring your spender night bag. They trying to find a way to run into you. Sunday. Guy start, was blocking all negative energy. White car. A Capricorn. This person was planning to tell you something, but they was afraid about what you was going to say. About what happened in the summertime. <clears throat> With a Leo, I like you because you ain't easy, empath. Wednesday, they about to ghost you, so somebody could have ghosted you today. Well, I'm not recording it on Wednesday, but somebody could have ghosted you because it's your time to enjoy, and you had the ability to uplift the hearts of everybody around you like an angel on earth. You're born to shine. Again, you made the right choice. Something about VPN, that's that uh, security thingy on your phone. Something significant about someone's VPN. Make sure that you don't got no other configurations, okay, on your device. Something about your VPN. New moon. Forty-eight hours. So something significant happened in the next forty-eight hours here. Somebody not gonna be able to realign their thoughts to a higher state of love. Please wait for me. Yeah, somebody can't get you fired or put out. Your life wasn't easy on purpose because you're a king or a queen. You're destined for greatness. We got an Aquarius, salty as fuck. Yes, I lied to you about everything. Can you unblock me? I really want to talk to you. They about to ghost you. E. Energy vampire. T. Because you had the ability. Somebody named could be T. T E E. Um, Terrence as well. But you had the ability to uplift the hearts of everybody around you like an angel on earth. You're born to shine. Somebody could also see you as extraterrestrial as energy. So we got VIP, we have um, VPN, so my name could be T, something significant about a pen number, something significant about at night, okay? Okay. Something something significant about at night. The fuzz. So the cops could be watching somebody at night. The fuzz. I'm seeing fuzz as like cops. So the cops could be watching somebody at night. That's an energy vampire. Due to their VPN, some sort of configuration. Okay, so also that share a ride, share, uh, what's that? When you share your information with somebody else, all right, pay attention to that. Somebody have unfinished business in love with a water sign. Somebody tried to hide that, okay? Um, the song I wrote was for you. In, something about in, they wanted to rob you. At nights, for somebody who tried to set him up. Remember, I said somebody Tuesday. Somebody set somebody up for a robbery on Tuesday. She set him up on Tuesday. I heard Natalie and Neef Nifa. 
Viv. Okay. So that's why somebody all in their head and their feelings because they got robbed about something because somebody was stalking somebody, VPN, tracking somebody, whatever. All right. Somebody named can be Neef. Okay. Kanif. Okay. Um, Jeff. Khalil. Who knows? Somebody could be a Leo. He wasn't able to set her up. Everybody know that somebody was pressed about you, a Gemini. We got P a week ago. Somebody named could be Pete. Latin man or a woman here. They know you got a divine bodyguard. What can I do to get you to trust me again? Stalker. C. So somebody ain't going to be able to stalk you no more. Somebody wants you to trust them. Okay. Somebody live in... Uh, <sighs> Memphis, that's what I just heard. Memphis, uh, Chicago, all right, Pennsylvania, something about CPN, NPC, something about somebody's PC, a laptop, computer could be significant. Somebody name somebody name can be Ken. Okay. <clears throat> somebody could have been incarcerated. They could be in the pen or about to be. But you dodged a bullet here um, in some way. Somebody tried to so one person set somebody else up. She set somebody else up. And then somebody tried to set you up. It didn't go through the way they wanted it when it came to the feminine energy, whoever you are. All right. I hope this helped. Have a blessed day.